everyone, in this video, we're going to be moving around the sprite character with some blocks. So first, we're going to press create in Scratch, and we're going to be creating a new project. And now, right here is our sprite, this cat right here. And these are the blocks that we can use. These are all the sections, and we can change the costume of our character. We can move its body parts around. We can change its color, and we can just change around the whole entire cat. And some characters come with a second character, like a second movement. Like this character comes with a running movement. Right here are the sounds. We can pick sounds, and like this one was a cat sound. And now we're going to be moving around the thing. So the first thing we have to do before we even start is we have to get one of these events out. So let's we have, let's just take out the one clip, the flag. So right here, if we click the flag, anything else we connect to this, it will move. So if we press one click, move 10 steps, we press this play button up here. The scratch character moves 10 steps every time you click the play button. Another thing you can do to make the cat move forever is you can put a forever block around the move 10 steps. So you press it, and the cat just keeps on going. Now, we are going to look at how to all the other movements that this cat can do. So this cat can turn 15 degrees. It can turn to the right. It can turn to the left. If you press this, it'll go to a random position in the board. Um. Go to X, 113, and Y, 10. If we put it in the corner and we press play, it'll go to that section we put it at. And these glide things is when movements are kind of, like, jumpy. So when we press glide, it'll, like, nicely, like, move smoothly. And this glide, this one right here, it just says that we can move, we can make it glide to a certain position. Now we're going to look at if we can use anything else. So right here, right here is our box of sprites. We can show the sprite or hide the sprite. We can change the sprite's name. We can put its size and the direction it's facing towards in different positions. We can put it sized to like any number we want to, and it'll get smaller or bigger. We can change its X and Y position to make it move to different places. And there's this trash can right over the picture. We press this, we delete this this thing. We can, there's this cat picture right here. There's, we can paint our own. We can get a special one, or we can upload a sprite, or we can search one. If we just press choose a sprite, it'll take us to this page. And on this page, there are all of these sprites we can do. And if we want specific ones, like say we want a basketball, we can go up to here and search up basketball, and it will come up. And we, we now we can have a basketball in our thing. With that, we can have other backgrounds than just a plain white. We can do the same things. We can have a surprise background. And for this case, we got a, we got a, a under the water backdrop. And if we just go to choose a backdrop, there are all these different varieties of backdrops. So we can use all of these to make a game. We can do a lot with this scratch coding. Now we're going to make a simple simple thing where a cat and a person interacts. So now we're going to be doing the interaction. So first we're just going to need two sprites. So let's just take this person named Abby and let's take this bear. Let's just take this these two people, and we're going to be talking from the bear's 
view, and they're he's it's gonna be talking to the person. So now we're gonna move this bear back a little bit off the screen. And we're gonna keep this person over here, and we want the bear to walk over. So first, let's keep the bear back here, and let's go to when clicked. Let's put that in. Let's make the bear move 80 steps. And then when we press play, that's not that much. So let's try 300. That was perfect. So now, because we have it like that, we can make the bear say something now. And after it goes there, we can tell it to wait for a second. And we can tell it to ask. We can go to sensing and ask, what's your name, and wait. And then it, when we press play, what, what it's going to do is it's going to ask us for our name. And then we have to type our name in right here. And then we press the check. And then that finishes. And then we're just going to make this person talk to each other almost. And now let's say, let's go to Abby's page. And let's go to one click. Let's put a five second timer. Let's put a 10 tech. Let's put five seconds. And then we can say, we can say hello. And then we can go down to this sync section and say, We can think how this bear is talking for, let's say, five seconds. And now if we put this whole entire thing together. Let's move back the bear. Let's play. We put in her name. And now next. What we can do is, let's change the background first. Let's see if there is a forest. So there are these four types of places. There's the woods, winter, jungle, and forest. I'm gonna take the forest, and I'm gonna move these people down a little bit so they look like they're on the grass. And we can this we can make this do really anything without making the bear move. We can change tell it to go to X and Y, and X and Y can be in front of the person. And we can add as many people as we want. So that's that's really it for this tutorial. In the next in the next video, we're gonna be making a mini ping pong game.